My name is Milan Ballington and I'm currently the Executive Director at the African American Community Service Agency. The African American Community Service Agency is in its 40th year serving the community based on our mission, uh, which is an exciting time for all of us, focusing in on education, economic development, health and wellness, and social services. My name is T.D. Seifert Wells. I am the daughter of Frank Seifert Jr. and Ruby Brecken Seifert. Throughout my life, I was always taught that the community shares and helps each other. And my dad continued that even when we came to San Jose. So when he passed away, they were looking for a way to recognize him because they appreciated all the service that he had done in honor of my father. They gave the building to the black community for 20 years at a dollar per year rental fee. And that was very instrumental in helping them go forward and achieve the things that they've done over the last 40 years. But we saw the need to provide services for the community. And we provided community uh, services for all folks in the community. But there was a, a definite uh, lacking of uh, services for our people of uh, African American ancestry. And there was about 52 groups and organizations that used that facility. Every single African American group organization, literally, fraternity, sorority, um, uh, social group um, organizations, they all use that facility and they had their monthly meetings there. It was to the point where there, were no, there was no meeting space available on the calendar. If you were able to get the space in there on the calendar, you were very lucky because it was, a com it was a community facility and it was very, very highly supported by the community. Um, today, uh, the library, one of the sponsors, I believe, is the Golden State Warriors. When I was a student at Santa Clara University, um, one of the um, jobs I had to attain was finding work in the community um, and I was doing practicum and so I just basically typed African American and it came up in the search uh, and so I was like, oh wow, there's black people in San Jose, where are they? And so I actually went down to the agency in person um, and just signed up um, as a volunteer. And um, that was like about three or four years ago, and I just continued to go there. It was a place for me to find solace um, and connection to my community, and um, a place for my children to learn about their heritage and get some um, just community built by a lot of uh, mentors, teachers, um, people who have sponsored me and helped me in my career. And now um, my children are participants in the AACSA STEAM program. First of all, thank you to the agency. It takes a village to raise a child. And for me, the agency has been a part of that village. As a person of color myself, I feel it's important that all families and children have all the adequate resources and appropriate resources to ensure that they have a fair and equal access to not only education, but overall health and well-being. I grew up in a community that uh, had many issues around domestic violence, um, household violence, community violence, school violence. And I understand how difficult it is for families to navigate that community and ensure their children's well-being. And so for, for me, the Family Resource Centers are the best opportunity because they are place-based in the family's community, in their neighborhood, where these critical services can be accessed and we can forget, begin to provide children a fair and equitable um, access to uh, high quality early learning um, environments that will mean everything for them down the road. As the director of the African American uh, Community Center, I enjoy working at the center. I love being at the center. I love the support that the community gave me during my time. And I just want to congratulate and wish Milan as executive director to continue the work we started and for the community to come out and support what we have, we are doing. And with your help, 
your support, the African American Community Service Agency will continue to be successful. Economic development is something that uh, the African American community as a whole, as a community-based organization, must not only teach our constituents, but we must also practice it. And it's not always easy to ask people for money, but when you're raising money for senior citizens, when you're raising money for kids, and when you're raising money to make sure that your facility uh, is looking just uh, as well as all the other cultural community centers, we really ask you to give today, to give tomorrow, and to give for the rest of your lifetime to the African American Community Service Agency. We are the hub organization for several uh, black organizations, but we serve a large population as well of the Latino community and anyone that walks through the doors. So today, I encourage you to give.